Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord difficulty. For this part we will uh, continue with the farming we started in the previous part. In these two provinces we are done with the Valley of Winds. Now we are moving to Crabshore and we have a lot of uh, really nice locations here. Like Everything is doable except uh, the Cult of the Titan and Lost Souls. So we have a lot of targets and... Uh, Hopefully we'll finally get some decent items and also some command promotions. Uh, our build is uh, a combination with commander after all, so uh, like how many do we have? 7 units on level 14 is uh, actually quite bad. So that's the plan and our scout will just keep exploring. Okay, and with 700 gold I could maybe build something. Uh, I was going after market to get access to storehouses. For that we need uh, farmers market, so let's build that. And with farmers markets, we can also start building. Uh, how is it called? Called mills. And I think I will do just that. We have one, two, three, four, five plant provinces. So. Why not? Six even. Uh, and we should be getting now enough gold so we can uh, keep building buildings in the capital and also some provincial buildings. Okay, can't cast any rituals, so let's end the turn. You will keep exploring, and what's this? Uh, Killer rats again. Mm -hmm. They can handle it. Okay, and let's start. Uh, something easier as first. Maybe slugs are a really good target. Okay, let's start with those. And uh, next building is the market. And I think that I wanted to trade this uh, sphere of thought to my wizard. So what I will do, I'll build a, where is it a storehouse in this province. In the next turn, I'll build it here, and I will trade it uh, like that. Uh, do you need anything? You can get a better bow. Okay, that will help. And repair, why not? And I can actually uh, already put this uh, into the treasury. Good, I also want to build uh, uh, a library in this province because I have two free spell slots, and maybe for some fights I will, uh, I will have to change some spells. But I will uh, destroy that library after we are done here. Uh, and replace it with the mill. You can have only three buildings in the province, so sometimes uh, it's quite annoying. But yeah, we will see about it later. Let's go after these slugs. Only three. I was actually hoping for more. But yeah, it's second ring, so I think this is appropriate. Um, and what can we do? I could actually use some more burn ammo for this fight. Well. It's too late for that. So let's uh, burn at least one of them. What else? Hmm. Let's send the gargoyle forward. It will take some of uh, some of those hits. Okay, go, go. And stone skin. I would like uh, uh, to uh, use the gargoyle as a target for all their shots. So they would actually have to come in melee to my to my undead but they are coming to me maybe now it will work no this guy is not shooting for some reason come on dude 
Waste your shots. You can do it. Now. Shoot. Yeah. Finally. Okay. Next turn. Uh, and next one. Oh, come on. Why are you moving? Well, then it will probably be time for what? Move this guy forward and block the way with the cargo like this, and you can actually do some damage. Okay. And keep attacking. Do I want to do anything else? Mm. Let's uh, use fatigues to make this even easier. I don't want to use more gems than I already used. So hopefully fatigues will be uh, well, fatigues will be enough. I just don't want to take uh, uh, too much damage. Okay, this is fine and. What about the fatigue for this guy? Good. Finish this. You can do some damage. And you guys can come closer. Okay, and the last fatigue doesn't really matter, let's say for this guy. Okay, and the third. And done. So this was easy. And we have a giant slug egg. Well, that's interesting. Um, I'll actually think about this. I may want to use one slug in this army. Be another unit that could spread the debuff. This, uh, in this case, would be just poison. But yeah, the more debuffs we can get, the better. Hmm, we'll have to think about this. Is giant slug in, in a uh, proper army or uh, army that can somehow uh, work with him uh, is actually quite a decent unit. And uh, with stone skin, if you move him forward and use him as, a, as some kind of bumper, uh, he can do incredible amount of damage because of the poison he spreads not only when he attacks but also when he is attacked. So, yeah. I'm actually actually take it uh, once I get more unit slots. Okay, this is not a bad thing. Uh, what about level ups? Level 17 for our ghoul. Let's grab more hit points. And this is crap. Well, at least we have some gold. Continue exploring. And what do I need more? Well, it doesn't really matter. I need both the library and the storehouse. Hmm. Now let's take the library. I really should take those spells. Okay, so what's that gonna be? Um, actually, let's think about uh, what's gonna be our next target. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't really matter. I have to clear everything anyway. So let's start uh, from those clerics and just uh, go through all of this. What do I need for clerics? Uh -huh. Maybe one more astral energy and one more sleep maybe. Yeah, looks good for this fight. Okay, and do I need to build anything uh, in the capital? Uh, I think I'll build a totem already, it's not that expensive, and I really want to get uh, at least two shamans in my army. I think that the main offensive power of uh, this army on this shard will be just, uh, I think we'll be able to get six ghouls. 
maybe five ghouls and uh, that's luck and uh, zombies we don't need those that much so uh, I will use at least two maybe three slots from tier one for those shamans to be able to debuff everything with their curse and do some extra magic damage if needed I'll maybe even use more uh, maybe the final version of the army will be five ghouls so one slug and uh, even six shamans that's possible if we get spider that would be awesome then it would be five ghouls and the spider we'll see but definitely we'll need uh, those shamans so I can build it now and what about some rituals uh, gifts of earth on the capital again as usual and and the turn Oh, now this is interesting. Question is, can I do this? Uh, white wizard, yeah, that will hurt. Clerics, that will hurt as well. Guardsmen, like, <laughs> one, two, three, four, wow. But if we can beat this, uh, it will be a lot of experience and a good chance to get a decent reward. So let's try it. I will have to do something about that white wizard. Well, the question is, uh, can I do something about the white wizard? And I probably should move down. Uh, maybe stand on the hill uh, with the hero and cover my ghouls. I want uh, my zombies to take the initial shots I won't be able to avoid. Uh, I might actually end this fight uh, with less units than I started, but uh, I can take something easier for the next fight. So it will be fine as long as we win this. This will be definitely a tough fight. Uh, resistances. Uh, that's uh, something I really have to check. Wow, this wasn't that bad. I expected I'll take a lot more damage uh, from clerics. Okay, so how do we start with this? Hmm. I will try burn ammo on the white wizard. Every point of ammo I take from him will be important. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm uh, counting on the bonus I have uh, as enchanter that it, this will actually work. Hey, at least one. Well, I was hoping for like three, but every bit helps. And go go. Okay, this is really uh, more than fine. I expected I will take like seven damage with every shot. And that wizard is kind of lost. Uh, he's not doing anything over it. That will definitely help. Uh, I was really worried about him. Uh, we check him. Uh, he's quite strong. Attack of twelve. I have resistances. Uh, maybe he'll start casting uh, like magic armor, something like that. I just don't want him to shoot my units. And now we can continue. Uh, we will need gargoyle. So let's summon it. Ouch, that hurt. This fight will take a while, definitely, but um, I can't rush this, I don't want to do something stupid and like lose a unit, uh, or actually lose more, more units than I have to. Here, stone skin for this guy, probably, and uh, I have to infect him, that's very important. What about this one? Can I attack with him? Uh, probably not yet. I will wait uh, until this guy loses uh, more stamina. And the turn. Uh, those guardsmen, those guys will be a big problem. Uh, 
Yeah. This zombie will die, I can't do anything about that. Um what I can do is probably use sleep, but uh, not yet. Let's move this guy forward. Attack with everything. And hmm. I have to probably weaken this guy. Okay, you will move forward. Everything will move forward. And let's attack. I can see that I'm gonna lose uh, like three zombies here. But I'll be able to replace just one. But the important thing is uh, uh, not to lose uh, my ghouls. They are way more important than zombies. Okay, this is fine. Maybe another fatigue now for this guy. Okay, that's perfect. Now he's not uh, that dangerous. Um, let's move this zombie forward. It will die, but yeah, can't do anything about that. I really need uh, to s uh, slow down these two guys before it, uh, before I engage them. Uh, I need to get rid of these two, and I actually want to wait until all of these guys deplete their shots. But they will regain ammo slowly, but uh, uh, it won't be that dangerous compared to what would happen if they all shoot at the same time. Okay, keep going. Uh, and the turn. Yeah, one is down. Hey, suicidal uh, healer. Okay. Come on, I want this guy to attack the gargoyle. He's a lot more dangerous. Yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And the zombie is almost down. Good thing is that uh, as long as uh, there are some damage units on their side, they will uh, more likely heal them than actually shoot my units. So uh, that's a big difference that will save me a lot of damage. And now it's time for that sleep. And I hope I can sleep this guy. Um, actually, do I want to sleep or web him? Uh, let's try it like this. Should be able to help him, yeah. And move in. Okay. Infect him. This guy as well. And do some damage to the swordsman. Is he gonna die or not? I don't think uh, he's gonna die from those debuffs. He will stay on like one hit points. And that's actually what I want because, like that, they will again try to heal him and not shoot me. You can do some damage to this guy. Okay, he's gonna die, but uh, it's another target for healing, so that uh, we will uh, keep those clerics, monks, and all that crap busy. And the turn. Ah, come on, he died. Yeah, he died from the counter attack. Ah. Yeah, forget that he uh, that this was the turn when he uh, regained the stamina. Well, never mind. Ah, come on. Don't do that. But it was his last shot and uh, this guy can't regain ammo so he's not a problem anymore. And that was the most dangerous thing. Now, as long as I uh, don't do anything stupid, I should be able to win this quite easily. Okay, you will move closer. Uh, attack this and this. This guy will still stay wrapped and go go. Okay, this guy will probably attack me in melee as well. I'm going after the zombie, uh, that's okay. 
Hmm, what else? I know this is uh, quite slow, but this is not uh, exactly an easy fight. Uh -huh. Fatigue for this guy, maybe. Probably. Um. Do I want to move forward with this guy? Probably not. I would be too close to all these guys, and if they all decided to uh, attack me in melee, I would probably die. So, let's do something like this. Still have stone skin on this guy. So, move forward, attack. This zombie can move forward, and let's attack with this one. Okay. And the turn. And now we'll have to focus on that wizard. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, let's move around. And hopefully I'll be able to kill him. Perfect. And you can attack this guy. Now he doesn't have uh, any stamina. And as long as he's infected, he's not, not gonna get any. So that's fine. Uh, let's kill this guy. And do I have astral energy? I do. So let's use it. Uh, this guy will keep those clerics a bit busy. Good. I still two turns for the stone skin, so I shouldn't take that much damage. And I will try to save this zombie. And if I save these two guys, I should be able to finish this fight uh, with full army, which is something I did not expect at all. You will attack. You will attack. You can eat a bit. And let's keep working on those clerics. Um, let's infect this one. Now they, they are both uh, significantly weaker. And end the turn. Yeah, we are fine. Now I'm sure about that. Which means I can raise the one zombie I lost. Kill this. Uh, maybe I'll move the zombie to get uh, the last hit for it. Cool. And this guy can kill that cleric. Okay. We managed to win this. I lost one level 11 zombie. But I think that it was uh, worth it. Like if you look uh, at the army we just defeated. Uh, it's fine and the reward 72 gems 270 gold uh, and you will get even more level up for ghoul uh, 3 hit points uh, zombie will get more uh, more attack and definitely want to grab this guy okay and what about this reward hmm ranges boots not that good pestilence well, also nothing special, but at least that's a lot of gold, and we managed to get a lot of gems from this, so... Good fight. You will keep exploring. And the uh, rebellion, no problem at all. So, how does it look like? These two zombies, uh, I heard, but... Uh, I will take something easier, I should be able to hide them behind, and... Uh, they will heal. Uh, now I will build storehouse, so I can finally grab uh, the sphere of thought. Uh, maybe this will finally make my attacks a bit more effective. Point stamina. Yeah. I can use it. Light boots. Maybe I'll take that with the uh, with the scout. Three hit points. 
Okay, that's uh, upgrade as well. And what else? Um, cancel this. Uh, basically everything. Brigands arrows. Another one. Yeah, nothing really important here. I just want to keep that uh, slug egg. You can repair everything now. And what about some more buildings? Um, I will need the Trapper's Guild, definitely. Uh, Herbalist Guild, well, not that important. Is there anything we really need at the moment? I don't think so. So I'll just keep building buildings I will eventually use. Uh, let's start with the Trapper's Guild, yeah, that, that one we will need for the slot. Okay, Rituals. Uh, dark Ritual. And what's a good target for this? Let's try this province this, province this time. 42 gems, perfect. Okay. And another fight. Something easier for this fight. So let's take those goblins. That should be easy. You will keep exploring and end the turn. Now, I hope that the... Uh, oh, troll. Oh, that's fine. As long as there's only one, I can web him and kill him. Let's attack. Uh, from now on, I hope that I'll be able to fight uh, a bit faster. The previous fight really took uh, a while. But yeah, it wasn't easy and uh, uh, I had to make sure that uh, I'm not gonna do something stupid. Uh, this fight. First... <laughs> Move this guy forward. I'll give him... Stone skin, and we can start. Ah, oh, come on! This thing is so annoying. I kind of like it. Uh, it makes goblins uh, a bit better. It's a new thing. It's uh, uh, sly boots. You can read the description. Basically, as long as long as this guy has stamina, he is immune to attacks. Uh, I mean, melee attacks. You can cast spells on him. You can shoot him. But when you attack him in melee, he will just run away. So yeah. Uh, we'll have to wait until he is uh, until he is tired, or we have to, you know, somehow uh, crowd control him. What about this guy? Do you have it as well? You do. Okay, then it's not worth moving forward. But he takes damage from uh, counter attack, so at least something. Okay, time for uh, vampirism, I guess. And is there anyone I can attack? This guy. Okay, next turn. And the combination like this, where I can't uh, uh, do any damage with counter attacks and I can't attack him, is just super annoying. Uh, let's uh, use fatigue. Attack him. Oh, he can't, he can't retreat now. His stamina is uh, too low already. Good, so let's get rid of him. Uh, yeah, this guy had uh, still enough stamina so he was able to run away. What about this? Uh, this guy will die. Okay, next turn. And I think now it's time for burn ammo. Okay. And can I attack anyone? This guy. And this guy. Okay, next turn. So. Now I will move away with these units. Use. Uh, sleep on that slug because I don't want to fight uh, both uh, these two guys at the same time. 
End the turn, wait for the troll to come closer. Web him. Uh, surround him with as many units as I can. And now kill him. Okay, next turn. This zombie will come closer as well. I really need like everything I can. Uh, I can get around him. So, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, five, six. Now I, uh, now I need to web him again. Which means I'm not gonna have a web for uh, for the slug, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. And the turn. And kill him. Come on. We can do it. Okay, troll is down. And we have still how long? Five turns uh, until that sleep ends. So I think I'll use the time to heal my ghouls. Let's end the turn. Zombies can move away. And uh, where do you have corpses? One, two. This guy can move closer. Do I still have uh, fatigue? I do. Uh, so let's use it. You can't attack him, but he, if you cast spells on him, he's not gonna wake up as long as it's not a spell that's gonna deal damage. So you can you sleep, then uh, spend fatigue, and uh, yeah, when uh, you attack him, you won't be able to do anything. Uh, end the turn. You can eat again. Time for another fatigue. And do I have anything that would help me? Nope. So, let's attack. Okay, he's not doing any damage anyway now, so... We are fine. Good. So, another fight. Uh, more level ups. Uh, more hit points. Uh, what about this guy? I think... Well, this is actually a tough choice. In this case, I think I'll stick to attack and rewards. Summon fiend. Well, that's uh, actually maybe that's not a bad spell for now with all the summoning we have. Uh, this guy could be a decent, uh, decent bait. Maybe I'll actually use the spell. I will have to think about my spell setup. There is so many options. Okay, but I will think about it off camera. Um, you will keep exploring. Black Pestilence. Where is that? Here. Do I want another another province where I have where I'll have uh, problems with population mood? Well, why not? We are playing for the evil side, so let's be evil. 42 gems. Yeah, they are really pissed now, so <laughs> I will have to hire the guard there. Uh, don't think I can calm them down, and that's uh, indignant after uh, after extravaganza, which is still active, so I may as well hire the guard right away. Walking Dead, I think that it's quite cheap. And uh, hopefully they'll be able to handle the rebellion there. Okay, if not I'll just reconquer it and uh, hire something stronger. And time to build something. Uh, let's build a mill. And maybe Stonehenge, it's quite tempting. It's pretty expensive, but uh, uh, it will reduce the delay between rituals further. And plus three gems per turn. Hmm. You know what? Let's, you know what? Let's take it. We don't need the gold that much. Uh, we are. Summoning all our units, uh, upkeep of all these units is our gems anyway, 
and we will get uh, enough gold from uh, those locations we have available now. Yeah, I will build it. And what about the ritual? We don't need anything now. Okay, next target. Um, how is my army? I could still uh, probably use a, uh, an easier fight those goblins again. And you will keep exploring. Okay, well, let's do one more turn. Uh, this part is already quite long, but I uh, feel like playing, so at least one more turn. Nine units. Yeah, let's attack. We'll be fine, or we should be fine. Okay, this is quite easy. Let's start. And same as before, send this guy forward. Can I attack? I can attack this time. So I'll give him stone skin and let's start doing some damage. Next turn. Okay, uh, next thing, vampirism probably, I guess that's not a bad idea, kill another goblin, and go go. Uh, you will move to at the basilisk to, to uh, infect him, and can I attack this guy? I can. So let's kill him and my, maybe now I can use astral energy and do some more damage uh, what about this guy? I can attack that one as well so you will move forward and kill that one okay next turn uh, no problem how long for my buffs? five turns that's okay, so I'll move to this guy. Uh, move the zombie out of the way for one turn. Now it's time for fatigue. Move closer, kill another one, and you can infect this guy so uh, those debuffs will start taking on him as well uh, how long for my buffs? 3 turns? yeah that's fine maybe uh, well one more turn then I will start moving forward with uh, these two guys uh, fatigue move closer and kill that basilisk and fight is over okay what about some decent rewards uh, let's see a decent level up yeah three hit points that's perfect and some gold poisoned arrows okay not that important but we just need the experience and what's this uh, Oh, giant spider eggs. Hmm, <laughs> should I try this? Try to steal those. I really would like to get a spider. Like that would be awesome. But uh, it's so risky that I'm gonna lose the hero. But I think it's probably worth the risk. We have now uh, access to enough locations. Uh, we will get enough resources to eventually resurrect him. And spiders, they are so good. Okay, let's try it. Well, okay. Then, so the last thing we will do in this part is uh, lose our scout. Three spiders, can I kill them? Probably not. Do I have a hill where I would be able to stand on? I don't. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, let's do anything we can. That's actually a lot of stamina they just lost. Uh, anything useful? Actually, maybe I'll be able to do this. Do I have forest knowledge? I do. So if I move forward with this barbarian, no, I'm still not in range. Okay, next turn then. I should have cast the uh, the fatigue. Ah, oh, come on, that was a mistake. Well, I'll do it now. To slow them down a bit. Uh, probably one more. I need to kill one of them to summon the zombie. Uh, that will be pretty tough. Actually, if they start just shooting, uh, I mean webbing me. Okay. This guy will be the one I want to kill. Uh, this is gonna hurt. How long? Two turns. Hmm. Yeah, this is a problem. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Yeah, now I will die. Well, that was close. Just those stupid webs. Do they still have more? Yeah, they do, so they will just kill me with the poison now. How long am I gonna be wept? Like, forever. So, yeah, let's just wait. They're no doing no damage uh, with their chill attacks. They will just uh, kill me with the poison. Uh, and in melee, I can't do basically anything against them. I had corpses for my barbarians, but can't use them now. I think I actually made a mistake. I should have moved my barbarians a bit forward. Uh, this fight was definitely doable. I just fucked it up. So there go my there go my spiders. Ah crap! I so wanted them. Well, never mind. Now let's take him to the castle to rest him. Uh, here. Uprising. Yeah. Uh, always try to solve this with gold if you can. Okay, it worked. Another rebellion, no problem. And the next fight... I don't know, orcs, doesn't really matter. We, we have to kill all of this anyway. But uh, the fact that we lost our exploration boat kinda sucks. And it was worth it, and if I wasn't stupid, uh, I would have won that. Okay, well, happens. Uh, let's finish this turn, any rituals... Uh, that I would uh, need nothing and buildings. One more uh, mill somewhere here, doesn't matter anywhere. Uh, we can build it, I want to build it. So let's do it. And we are ready for the next turn. But next turn will be in the next part. Hope you like this one and uh, join me again. Uh, until next part, have a good time and bye bye.